Jens Mikkel, and I want to uh, give a short presentation on our last uh, semester project, which was inspired of some of the things uh, Henning he talked about with fixing some of the implementation problems that is with using a CNN model in the healthcare sector. Our case was um, when we use x-rays, uh, images to predict pneumonia. So there are a lot of uh, problems and different things you have to take into account when you are trying to use those, when you're trying to implement. The, the two we wanted to tackle or try to you know, see if we can do anything about was the black box problem, which is like, I don't know what this is and why it's making these decisions, so I don't trust it, and the legal barriers which kind of like elevate this trust issue there is. Because the legal things right now is that AI can't be legally responsible for the decision it makes. And when you're trying to implement a CNN AI working in conjunction with a doctor, even if the AI like was the one making the decision, it's still the doctor that is held legally responsible for that decision. So trust in what it's saying is important. God. Uh, our idea was instead of just visualizing um, what the CNN model is doing, uh, we wanted to make it possible for the doctor or the radiologist to discuss uh, with the AI on the individual level, like case by case, what are you saying, little AI, why are you saying it, what do I, what do I feel, does it seem like what you're saying makes sense, and therefore like building a better relationship, working relationship with this AI. And also doing that in like the same framework as a radiologist or a doctor in that case. So like it's bet they don't need to have an education in computer science, but by their own medical field can like understand it in the same framework. So uh, the prototype what we made, this is what we can generate from an image. There's a lot of things I will go into a bit of detail before. These two pictures over here is what comes out this is basically, we give a model, an uh, x-ray image. It's our own trained model from uh, CNN. It's, we're using CNN architecture. <coughs> architecture. And it says it has pneumonia, 99%. So that's like its prediction. Then we use something called a grad cam. I don't have the time to go into all of the details of this, but grad cam is basically, if you remember when Henning was talking about the convolutional neural network, like they, they make these filters uh, this is like, you know, we ask, it's like asking the AI, which part of this picture, which features did you think were most important for your decision? And it just makes a bit red, red blob. Now, this is a bit hard to interpret for a doctor, I would say, because it's, this thing just says these pixels are more important than these pixels. What does that mean, right? So what we did was what we call a set DC. Uh, automatic zone division of grad cams. So, by using the grad cam, and uh, we like try to divide the lung into zones, and then giving them more color depending on where there are most red pixels. So, in theory, when a, a radiologist he like looks at the looks at the X-ray, he sees, oh, I think that zone is most important for my diagnostics of that picture. Then the AI says, I think this zone, and then you know the radiologist can look at that zone and the zone he thinks and determine, do I agree with this? Does this make sense? And if it doesn't, he can distrust it on a case by case. If it does, then you know everything is wonderful. We also made this uh, automatic box plot. You see uh, right lung, right lung, mid, left lung, and it gives the exact number of things. And again, this is all generated. You can take any x-ray image and throw it into this thing, and this is what will pop out. Okay, here is some examples of other x-ray images popped in. Uh, and if you're wondering, how do we make like this? Is it us that has drawn this like weird thing around it? No, we're using, and that's the bit of the fun part, we're using the first layer of this CNN. And it's like, it's the first eyes this computer has. It's a bit... Uh, hard to explain uh, at a sort of short time. But see, that's the first thing the CNN looks at. Like, if you wanted it to uh, f say, is this uh, cycle red or black? You first have to explain it what the cycle is. The fun thing with CNN is that it does that automatically. So the first convolutional layer says, that's a cycle. Then it goes deeper, deeper detail. 
So we use the first convolutional layer because we saw that it drawed a like, thing around the lung with the grad cam. So we used that to like, make this. So this is the lung. And then we cut into it to make these sections. And the theory is that when a doctor was, would like, he would take an x-ray, then they would come back this. The model would say, I think it's that high uh, percentage of being pneumonia. This is where I look roughly. And here is like a zone uh, division of what zones I think are most important. So that was like the idea of trying to do it. And uh, here is an, we then made a GUI and the program to making it more, you know, friendly to use. Uh, yes. Um, so yeah, you can see, and then you can throw in any x-ray image and it will whoop, make that. A fun thing also we figured out was we had two model. We made two models just for the testing. And the thing is, you can technically take any model you have and use this framework with it. If it's a CNN, if it has to, like it's only in theory, have you really tested? So like you can take any model uh, if it's a CNN and it has been trained on frontal uh, lungs, lung X-ray. So like if it's cancer, if it's, and that's the theory. I think everything will break down when I try it once. But like in theory, it could work. So yes, that was our idea uh, to make it easier to build trust and have a better uh, working relationship as a doctor with your AI. So yeah. Any questions? Could you say a few words about your cooperation with uh, this PhD? Yes. Uh, we have worked. Okay, I'm going to go a bit back here just so that can play in the background. We have worked with a PhD student uh, named uh, Dana, I think, I, if I remember correctly, who helped us uh, a lot about giving us an image into what the relationship is right now between radiologists and the development of these kind of AIs to help in it. And she was the one who pointed us in the direction of, you know, trust is, in a general way, a lot of people are ready to trust these things, but the problem are really the legal limitations and that they can't just put all the responsibility on the AIs. So therefore, we thought of like a kind of solution to fix that in some way. Uh, she helped us a lot with a lot of the insight into the field because I don't know shit about <laughs> radiology before I started this at all. I'm a, a data scientist. I'm starting to be a data scientist, right? So, yeah. Any questions? If I have time. <laughs>